Hey guys, welcome back to another Cube of another video. We're gonna start with some Doki Doki Literature Club Plus again. You know how it is in the house. And, uh, yeah. Holy shit, I, I bought a new monitor because I was like, oh. The fuck was that? Shit just lost its. As you can see, instead of 1920, we might be actually able to record at a higher, uh, fucking thing. I don't know. Data collected 19%. Interesting. But in the files, I did find out if you went to certain ones, I actually have them listed that you could actually go to certain, like, certain things. And it wasn't saved, so I can't remember where it was. It's internals? Yeah, if you go to, like, like, 401, I think it was. Or, no, it's 404, that's an error code, right? Yeah. But you can't open it yet, and that's kind of stupid. But other than that, we're just going to continue on with some DDLC+. Plus. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Teach me how to dug you. Eh, eh, eh. Love little girls. Look so pretty. Make me want to go and hurl across the floor like that's a key. Because you don't know what you can't fucking see. Eh. Hey. <laughs> uh, I don't remember what happened between these two. But uh, we'll continue on. Um, Oh, man. I'm the last one here again. Don't worry. I just walked in too. Were you practicing piano again? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and not picking up piano. Well, maybe not determination. But I guess passion. This shit got really fucking loud. I don't know if it's loud for you guys, but fuck that shit's loud for me. Burst my damn eardrums out. Remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. And I'm super happy that you're all willing to help out for the festival too. I, I can't wait for the festival. It's gonna be great. I can't remember her voice. Oh fuck. Eh? Uh -huh. Weren't you complaining about it just yesterday, Natsuki? Well, yeah. I'm not talking about our part of the festival, but it's a whole day of school where we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. You sound a bit like Sayori all of a sudden. Monica, do they usually have fried squid? Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on. Are you saying you don't like squid? You of all people? Uh, I didn't say I don't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? Because, oh my god, it's right in your name. Monica. Huh? That's not how you say my name at all. Also, that joke makes no sense in translation. Huh? Uh, never mind. Let's just focus on our event for now, okay? <laughs> fine, fine. Your reactions aren't as fun as Yuri or Sayori's anyways. Excuse me? Where is Sayori anyway? Oh, there you are. Sorry, he's sitting at a desk in the corner room looking down at something. At nothing. I'll walk over to her. Hey, Sayori. I wave my hand in front of her face. Uh huh? You're spacing out again. Uh, uh, <laughs> Sorry! Don't mind me. You can go talk to everyone else. Huh? Is everything alright? Uh, of course. Why wouldn't it be? Just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. You know what to say about assuming? It makes it out to have you and me unless it's absolutely correct. And I... <laughs> Please, don't tell me. I don't want this to be episode. Jeez, you worry too much about me. I'm fine, see? Sorry shows me a big smile. Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. Well, alright. If you say so. I worry they can't society before returning back towards everyone else. But the conversations has already dispersed. With everyone back at their usual activities. Maybe I should ask Monica if she's noticed anything about Sayori recently. Since they've been praying for the festival, they must be spending a lot of time together. I timidly approach Monica, who is shuffling through some papers at her desk. Naruto, what's up? 
Hey, this might sound a little strange, but have you noticed anything up with Sarah recently? Anything up with her? And what do you mean? Maybe I'm reading into it a little too much, but she seems a bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? I can't say I've noticed anything about her. Monica peers across from Miss Ari, who is idly dragging a rubber eraser up and down her desk. Maybe there is something on her mind. But I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you, Naruto. You certainly know her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never really like this. She's always talked to me about things that bothered her. But this time, when I asked her, she was really dismissive. Sorry, I know it's not your problem. I just want to ask if you knew something, anything, so I'll drop it now. No, no. It's important to me, too. I mean, I'm also friends with her. And also care about the well-being of my club members, you know. Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Uh, are you sure about that? She seems like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she just seems she's having a hard time bringing up with the person of interest. The person of interest? What do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, Naruto. Me? How on earth would you come to that conclusion? Well, I probably shouldn't say too much, but Sari talks about you more than anything else, you know? Uh. She's been so much happier ever since you joined the club. It's like an extra light was turned on inside of her. What? No way. Sari is always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. It's not different now that it, than it's always been. <laughs> You're so funny, Naruto. Have you thought that maybe you've always seen her as so cheerful? Because that's just how she is when she's around you. Uh, I said too much. I'm sorry. What do I know anyway? I didn't mean to jump to conclusions, so you should just forget what I, about what I said. I'll try to talk to her, so try not to think about it for now. Ah, uh, alright. Monica smiles meaningfully. I know she said to forget about it, but I already know that I won't be able to get to her words out of my head. Monica stands up from her desk and walks across the room to where Sayori is sitting. I watch her kneel down next to Sayori and gently talk to her. But she's keeping her voice so quiet, I, I can't hear her from here. I sigh and sit myself down. I know Sayori told me not to worry about her, but to have fun with everyone else. But that's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly how much do I care about her? that I'm letting this weigh me down so much. Now it feels like I'm the one behaving out of ordinary. But there's nothing I can do besides wait for Monica. Okay, everyone. After some time passes, Monica calls out to the club room. Why don't we share our poems now? Before I know it, everything is back to normal. Everyone goes to retrieve their poems and I do the same. I make eye contact with Monica and she smiles at me. I remember... I wonder what she was talking about with Sari. Who should I show my phone poem to first? Of course it's my baby. It's gonna be Monica, Sayori, Natsuki, Yari. You already know the order, baby. Uh, hi, Naruto. Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform at the festival? Well, uh, being in this club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people? I'll have to give it some more thought. Okay, no pressure. But whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. Would also make me happy to see. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look at today's poem. Sure. I'll let Monica take the poem I'm holding in my hands. Hmm? <laughs> it's kind of funny. How so? No, not the poem. I mean, it's funny how your poems and Sayori's poems have been getting more and more similar to each other every day. I'm surprised you're so in sync with her. Then again, you've been spending a lot of time together lately, haven't you? Uh, I guess you could say that. Although we kind of grew up as best friends, I haven't seen her much of, much of her this past year. But since I joined the club, we've been spending a lot of time together again. Soka, Soka. That reminds me. But has Sari been a little off today? Yeah, did she tell you something? <laughs> well, Naruto, you haven't been flirting with her, have you? Uh, of course not. I've been treating like I always do. Alright, just making sure. I know how much you care about her. It would be terrible if something bad happened to her, so keep an eye on her. Sari's been acting so much happier ever since you joined the club. 
What could have happened all of a sudden? Well, never mind. This re really isn't the time to be talking about this. Anyway, I'll share my poem with you now, alright? Uh, alright. The Lady Who Knows Everything. An old tale tells of a lady who wanders Earth. The lady who knows everything. A beautiful lady who has been who has found every answer, all meaning, all purpose, and all that was ever sought. And here I am, a feather, lost adrift, the, the, lost adrift the sky, victim of currents of the wind. Day after day I search. I search with little hope, knowing legends don't exist. But when all else failed me, when all others have turned away, legend is all that remember, remains. The last dim star glimmering in the tw twilit sky. Until one day, the wind ceases to blow. I fall, and I fall, and fall, and fall even more. Gentle as a feather, a dry quill expressionless. But a hand catching me between the thumb and forefinger. The hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her eyes and find no one to her gaze. The lady who knows everything knows what I'm thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer, all of which amount to nothing. There is no meaning. There is no purpose. And we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend. Your legend does not exist. And with a breath, she blows me back afloat, and I pick up a gust of wind. Well, fuck. <laughs> you know, I feel like learning and looking for answers are the sort of things that give life meaning. Not to get too philosophical or anything. It was kind of on my mind, so that's what I wrote. Soka. I never really put much thought into it. In a way, it's almost paradoxical. Because if we had all the answers, wouldn't the world start to lose its meaning? You know, there's one thing I noticed. It sounds like everyone in this club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. Uh, are you surprised? I mean, if everything was okay, we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. I think you know that better than anyone else. You mean one-dimensional? Uh, yeah, that. Anyway... Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid it's not that good? It can be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to something you put so much effort into. But if you find other people who enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. Because instead of just telling you that your writing is good or, or okay or bad, they want to focus more on everything that went into it and the things you can work on. It's much more encouraging that way and it will make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own little literature club, don't you think? That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Who should I show my fucking Sayori? Baby, hey, what's poppin', baby girl? Number two in my heart. Number one, Monica. Hey. Monica on this dick. This is your best one so far. It's really nice, Naruto. Er, uh, thanks. Mm hmm. Sorry, you've been a little quiet today. Is everything all right? <laughs> of course. Everything is fine. Maybe I'm just a little tired today. <laughs> you want to nap or something? No, that's silly. Don't worry about me, okay? I only want to see smiles on your face. Well, all right. Hey, Naruto. I'm still a little surprised. I really thought you would try writing your poems like the way Yuri does. Or even Natsuki. But in the end... Yeah. I guess the one who likes this one the most. Why? You don't want to get closer with everyone else? Wait. Of course I do. That doesn't mean I need to try so hard to impress them. I still understand you the most, Sayori. I know you have sometimes put up with me. And I have sometimes put up with you. But we have a wavelength or something. And this is how the poems came out. Sometimes it feels like you're the only one, the only exciting thing in my life. But sometimes it's just easier to write one thing about you. Sorry? No, no, <laughs> Naruto. I, I don't deserve this. You're too nice to me. Why are you doing this? Sorry, has trouble keeping her voice steady all of a sudden. If you had fun with everyone else instead, this would be so much easier. Sorry. Guys around the room to make sure nobody has noticed. Sorry. Probably never said this before. I don't understand what you're feeling right now. Tell me what will cheer you up. 
Sari shakes her head. She sniffles and keeps shaking her head. Finally, she gathers herself and puts on a smile. It's nothing, Naruto. It's just a little rain cloud. So I can't see that. <laughs> I promise it won't happen again. Just smiles from everyone, okay? That's all that matters. Go play with everyone else. I'm gonna go home a little bit early today. Sorry. Tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Before I can say anything else, Larry cheerfully walks out of the classroom humming to herself. <sighs> Who should I throw my poem to next? Depression or depression? <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> this one's alright. Alright? Well, yeah. Not as good as yesterday's anyway. I see what you're do going for, but it's just not really my style. I mean, that's fine. I'm mostly just glad you're trying a little bit. Well, of course I'm tr at least trying. Why are you so emotionally invested in my poems anyway? Is that more of a compliment to me? Eh, no, gross. It's not like I care. It's just that one of us in this club has to make sure you're not slacking off. Oh, excuse me. Really? Well, what if you end up just scaring me away? Th that's a... It's not like you would actually do that. Yeah, you're right. It's kind of fun hanging out here. Even if I had to put up with you. Yeah. Natsuki elbows connect to the stomach. <clears throat> oh? Maybe I won't mind scaring you after all. I was just joking. Oh, I know. Don't worry, I was too. <laughs> uh, how the hell do you call that a joke? That seriously hurt. Maybe it was funny, sir. I guess that kind of, that's kind of the point. I should just really watch my mouth around Natsuki. Anyway, Natsuki holds up, holds her poem out to me like nothing ever happened. Bro, you just got fucking elbowed. What do you want from her? <laughs> I'll beat your beach. Your mind is so full of troubles and fears that diminished your wonder over the years. But today I have a special place, a beach for us to go. A shore reaching beyond your sight. A sea that sparkles with brilliant light. The walls in your mind will melt away before the sunny glow. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream about every day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought had left you long ago. Let's bury your heavy thoughts in a pile of sand. Bathe in sunbeams and hold my hand. Wash your insecurities in the salty sea and let me see you shine. Let's leave your memories in a footprint trail. Set you free in my windy sail. And remember the reasons you're wonderful when you press your lips to mine. I'll be the beach that watches your worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream about every day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought had left you long ago. But if you let me be your side, your own beach, your own escape, you'll learn to love yourself again. Yeah. I felt like I kept writing about negative things, so I want to write something with a nice message for once. Besides, the beach is awesome. Kind of hard to write anything negative about the beach. So you decided to write about the beach first, and then came up with the message later. Yeah, well, it's only because of what happened yesterday. I mean, after Yuri and I realized we kind of wrote about the same thing. She wanted to pick a topic and have us both write about it, or whatever. <laughs> you can really see her doing that, too. Making us write about a simple topic, then trying to impress me by coming up with something all fancy. Well, it's not like I care. I just did it anyway. I mean, I guess mine ended up being kind of metaphorical, too. That's, there's nothing wrong with doing that once in a while. At the very least, it was good practice. Yuri! On ice. Uh. Uh. Well done, Naruto. You've definitely improved your writing over the course of these few days. Has my advice been helpful to you? Yeah, definitely. I'm glad. Sharing our writing like this is a lot more fun and rewarding than I anticipated. I need to remember to thank Monica. I think we all felt a little awkward at first, but now it seems like everyone is enjoying sharing their writing and seeing what others think. I guess I can't really disagree. I was afraid that this whole thing could be would be a chore. It's great for me to spend some personal time with all the girls in the club. But it's been fun getting to know each each and every and everyone in their writing. Well, fuck. And I guess doing some writing myself. Well, have you learned anything about yourself, Naruto? Well, you know how I like to say that writing is very personal. 
way to get in touch with yourself. In the end, it doesn't matter if you're a good writer or a bad writer. And even my opinions are just opinions, you know. As always, I believe what's important is exploring and discovering yourself. That's comforting. I'm kind of afraid of disappointing you in some, month, some way or another. Uh, why me? Well, you're always sophisticated with your writing and have the most advice to share. Is that so? Hmm. Here he thinks for a good minute. That must be terrible. Uh-uh? For me to have become someone who is opinion is gruesome. How unlikable of me. Yuri, uh, it's not as bad as you're making out, making a sound in your head. I just meant that I respect your opinion. Sloka. I'm sorry that I always overthink and come to those sort of conclusions. I'm just a little too used to it. Overthinking? Being disliked. Yuri. What? What am I saying? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring that up. Let's move on. Alright. You want to share your poem now? Okay. Here. A marvel millions of years in the making, where the womb of Earth chaotically meets the surface, under clear blue sky and expansive bliss, but beneath gray rolling clouds and endless enigma, these worlds get lost in, is one where everything can be found. One could only build a sandcastle where the sand is wet, but where the sand is wet, the tides come. Will it gently lick at your foundation till you give in? Or will a sudden wave send you crashing down in the blink of an eye? Either way, the outcome is the same. And we still build sandcastles. I stand with a foam wraps around my ankles, where my toes squish into the sand. The salty air is therapeutic. The breeze is gentle yet powerful. I sink my toes into the ultimate boundary line, tempted by the foamy tendrils. I turn back and I abandon my peace to erode up the shore. Drift forward, and I return to Earth further forevermore. Um, I'm aware that the beach is kind of an inane thing to write about. I did my best to make a metaphorical for this week. Yeah, that's Gary told me about it. She, she did? She didn't say anything weird, did she? She just wanted us to write about the same topic again. I suppose to be better, I suppose to better compare the differences in our writing styles or thought processes. Anyway, it was her idea. Knowing her, it's no surprise that she wanted to do something like that. She probably just wants to show off. It's not like I have a particularly interest in your writing style. I just went with her request. But, well, I suppose it's not so bad to write about something simple on occasion. It can be refreshing, you know. It's good for me to calm my thoughts once in a while. Yeah, I think I agree. Thanks for sharing. Alright, and with that, I'm going to end off this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you disliked it, then leave a dislike. And if you're enjoying the content, please subscribe. And if you could, leave a comment down below. This would be the only thing I really, truly want from you is to leave a comment down below telling me how your day's going. Other than that, please, I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye!